What's up, Henry fans? Tekken Me is back, and this time I'm gonna show you what I've never shown to you guys before. So let's get to it. Okay, today I'm gonna do what's on my phone. So let's start. The first thing I'm gonna show you is my lock screen, right over there. This is MIUI lock screen. It's not a standard one, but it's a downloadable MIUI lock screen. So let's see. So I can access my camera, I can access my phone and all that stuff. Or to unlock I just need to slide that up. If I want I can slide, I can access my phone right from here. I can, that is my dialer. I can access my camera, like if I just go slide it, boom, right in my camera. And I can even go here and I can slide it out, check out the date, check out the battery percent, and I can unlock as well by doing that. If you want to check out my MIUI ROM review, link is going to be right over there somewhere. Click it, check it out. So here we are, back to my lock screen. That's the date, Saturday, 5.30 is the time. Let me press that again. I can go straight to my photos, my messages, my calendar, or I can just slide this up and go to my home screen. Okay, in my home screen I have a wallpaper going on with uh, X-Men. I just downloaded for the fun of it, it just looked nice. Okay, uh, here we have the D-Clock widget. It has a nice reflection going. If you see it right over there, it reflects. It just shows, shows me the time. I can move it up and down. That's my notification bar, and that's my dock bar. I'm using ADW Launcher. That's why I fold the five things in my dock bar. I can slide my dock bar down, and boom, I have more stuff right over there. I can slide those and I can go to different applications from right from my wall. So this is this is called this is called the hidden dock bar. So right from my home screen I can go to my different applications through my hidden dock bar. It's right over there. I have navigation and all that stuff in here. I even have folders. If I click there, boom, folders pops up. See? Cool, right? So that's my hidden dock bar. And then I have the phone, the camera, this is my app drawer. Right over here I have Go SMS Pro, but I'm using Hansen logo for that. Then I have my browser, which is the internet browser, but I don't have, this is not a Google Chrome browser, this is a standard browser that comes with MIUI ROM. So here we have it, and that's my standard browser. I can add new tabs just by the click of it. I can go to Google just by clicking on right over there. So those are my favorites. So that's my browser. Okay, next we have my notification bar. In my notification bar I have a themed with MIUI theme. So right over there it's kind of black themed. And right you can see in my notification bar that, let me show you that close up. Right over there it shows the battery percent. This app, this is through an app actually. Uh, it's called Battery Circle. So I can just click right over there and go into my Battery Circle. See right over there, Battery Circle. So that's the app that does that so that's a nice little download you guys can do so this is the MIUI uh, what is this notification bar or status bar and right over here I can just slide it and go to my power toggles power switches and all these switches I can play around with I can switch on or switch off right, my, right now my GPS is switched off I can switch it on right with the click of a button so that's the status bar which is again themed through MIUI, that's the best part about MIUI, you can just three theme all these things. And then you can you even notice this blue little line over there. That's my battery that's my battery percentage in a line. So if it's hundred percent charged it goes all the way to the top, all the way till the other end. So as you can see there's no battery icon right over there. That's the notification or status bar. Right? Next, let's see what my home screen is. So if I slide up, as you can see, ADW lets you have uh, gestures by sliding down I can go to my hidden dock bar and by sliding up I go to the screen previews so let's start with the first screen right over there this is this application is called Jort this is a widget and it even gets it even gives you an application it's a calendar application next up that's my calendar next I have my uh, what is this friend caster so right over here I have on my second page I have my Facebook which I use Friendcaster and Friendcaster is a cool little app I've, I, I, I've reviewed it before if you want to check out the review right over there so that's Friendcaster and cool little nice little Facebook app and then we have my YouTube stuff so 
I can just click on it and my YouTube starts. Next up I have Plume. This is Plume right over here. This is my Twitter. If you want to follow me on Twitter, right over there, me and tech. Just follow me on me and tech and that's my Twitter. So right over here, the best part about this widget is scrollable. So I just scroll through my widget. So that's Plume. Next, I'm back to my home screen, the clock widget. Next, these are different apps that I commonly uh, access or whatever. So I have Pulse here, I have Life Reminders, which is basically a reminder. I even have voice controls. Like So I have my voice controls right over here. And uh, I can tell it to navigate or whatever. And then I have my Ultimate Face Pro, which I'm just which I keep changing and adding new stuff to it so I can review different apps for you guys and that's ultimate face row then I have right over there my tools compass clock calendar and all that stuff and right over here I have my settings different settings things for different applications so that's my second page from my home screen so basically top three on the left side and now we're going to the right side from the home screen so this is the second page from the right side and this is these are the different applications that I commonly access. Then right over here I have catch catch.com. This is basically if I wanted to click, take a quick little note, I can just take it and then boom, I can access my notes right over there. See all these different notes. So yeah. That's catch.com. That's catch. Check it out. Awesome app. Here I have some power controls. If I want to switch 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 off something like switch switch off GPS, I can do it right from here. I c I like to have my power controls on my home screen as well, apart from my notification bar, because it lets lets me know if I forget to switch off my GPS or something. It doesn't drain my battery. Then I have right over here. This is Tap Two widget. Tap Two is a news app which I'll be reviewing soon. I've reviewed it before too. It's a nice little news app. And right over here, I have different Android news right over there. I can go to different news channels by just clicking up and down on right over there. That's my tap to widget, which I really like. I wish it was scrollable though. It's not scrollable like the plume widget, which is scrollable, right? So that's that. And next page, I have different apps that I'm still considering. Should I review or should I not review and all that stuff. So these are those different apps. The last page is dedicated to you guys basically because I completely uh, I have all these new apps that I haven't reviewed yet right over there so I just consider them if I don't like them I uninstall them and all that stuff so that's the last page and here we be back to home screen and then I have two more things which you guys can see because it's kinda hidden so right over here I have my swipe pad to access different applications really cool definitely download swipe swipe pad if you don't have it yet that's uh, the gesture that I have set from the left side and from my right side I have Wave Launcher and I can access whatever applications I've recently opened up So right over there see that that's Wave Launcher let me show you that again See that different applications recently opened applications so I can go to like my clock I can go to tap to news widget I can go to cache.com I can go to friendcaster whatever I want right from here suppose I want to go to my browser leave it on my browser and boom back in my browser so that's the that's basically what it, what do we call multitasking on Android? I use Wave Launcher from the left side and from the right side. I use what is a swipe pad, and then I have my different applications. Nothing fancy. I'm not using Go Launcher because I like the hidden dock bar in ADW. So that's about it. If Go Launcher did have that dock bar, then I would definitely use Go Launcher. Go Launcher is awesome. So that's it. Let me know what you guys thought. Don't forget to hit that like button though, helps my channel grow and I really like it when I get lots of thumbs up so hit that like button. So that's what's on my Android, what's on yours, leave a note below. And don't forget to subscribe, take care guys, bye bye.